Hello everyone, my name is Kenny Bruni. Welcome to Cambrotech. At Cambrotech, we say learn programming. You can do it. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download and install Python on your Windows 10 computer. So we'll go into our browser and do a Google search of download Python. We are given a couple of options and we need to go to the website www.python.org. Okay, so on this website, some documentation we can read. I encourage you to take a look at some of the things over here, but we'll quickly jump in into installing Python. And as you see, Python works on Windows, Linux or Unix, Mac OS and other operating systems. So at the time of recording, the latest version of Python is 3.9.0. So we'll click on this and it starts downloading over here. So once the downloading is complete, I'll go into my downloads folder and here I have it. Now you are done with the download, you are going to do the installation. This is almost like any other um, installation we do on Windows. You, you double click on the executable file, then you are given this window. Now it says install launcher for users and it is recommended and checked as well. So you leave it um, as it is. Then I also recommend you to check this one too so that it adds Python 3.9 to your environmental path. So there are basically two options over here. We can do an install now or customize things up over here. I think in order to make things very simple for us, let's do the install now. And it's going to install in our C drive with this default directory. And as you can see, it includes an ID, LE, a pip, and documentation. So basically what it means is it comes with a pip installer package, which um, later on, we are going to see how we can install packages using the pip or package. So I'll click on install now. So this will actually take um, a couple of minutes. Okay, now we have our installation completed. And as you can see, setup was successful. So we are going to click on close. And in order to see things up over here, we are going to go into our command prompt. So we type cmd. And this is our command prompt. So inside our command prompt, we can type python then space and dash dash version and as you can see this is 3.9.0 it is actually what we downloaded and that's about the latest version at the time of recording so in order to see if things are working out well we can type in python over here and we can start typing in python codes in this command window so we can do a print we can type Ken Brutech. And basically what this means is we want to print this in this terminal window. So when we click on enter, it prints it out for us. We can do other things or the normal things we do Python. So you can do, let's say, 2 plus 6. And the answer is 8, as you can see over here. We can also do, um, let's say, create a variable x is equal to. And X is going to be a string. So let's say my name, Kenneth. And instead of just printing X, we want to print the data type of X. So we do print, then we call the type function. So what this basically means is we want to print the data type of X. So when you press enter, you see that it prints the data type of X and it says X is a string because x is storing the value in it and Kenneth is strange as we see over here. So now we have Python successfully installed on our computer. So now that we know we have Python installed on our machine, we will normally code in an ID. So for instance, um, in this example, I'm going to show you how to use VS Code. Now, if you don't have VS Code installed on your machine, VS Code is a very popular ID, it's very flexible, and um, you are going to love it. Now, if you don't have VS Code installed on your machine, I have um, a tutorial, I'll link up in the description below, showing you how to install VS Code. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to click on the VS Code icon over here. And now I have VS Code. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a folder. So I'll click on this and come here 
I'll click on open folder and create one. So I'll name it tutorial. And click on select folder. So once that folder is selected, you have the tutorial folder selected over here. I'm going to close this and I'll just hover around over here. It says new file. I'll click on new file and I'll say test.py. I'll click on enter. So now you can start typing in Python commands over here. Now this is very important. It says no Python interpreter is selected. You need to select an interpreter to enable features such as IntelliSense, linting, and debugging. So basically what this means is when we installed Python, it got installed on our machine, on our computer. Now we need to link it up so that VS Code will be able to work with Python. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on select interpreter and we have our interpreter, the one we just downloaded. Now there's an older version of Python I have, which I use Anaconda to um, operate. Now there's a latest version that we downloaded and that's 3.9.0, that's the version. So we click on this and the interpreter, it says, it says linter pylint is not installed. So now we can install that one. It's going to take a couple of minutes. It's going to take a couple of minutes and these are optional but then i recommend you do this installation so that um, everything works perfectly for you okay so now we have a successful installation of everything so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to clear these things over here so now what we can do is to test the things we tested using the command line interface so you can do print and you are going to type cambrotech And when we save Control S, we can click on this button over here to run the code. And as you can see, we have Cambrotech printed over here, just like we saw in the command line interface. We could as well do the other things we did. So, for instance, X can be a strange. That's my name again. And we are going to print x and we are also going to print the data type of x when we save and run it we are going to see the first line of code was x is equal to kenneth and kenneth is a strange now on line 3 we are printing x and that's what we have over here on line 3 and on line 4, we are printing the data type of X, which is actually a class of strange. Now, thank you very much, and I hope you're able to do the installation and follow along. Now, if you find this tutorial very interesting, kindly support my work by clicking on the subscribe button, liking my videos, and kindly share for others who will find this tutorial very useful. At Cambridge Tech, we say, learn programming. You can do it. Thank you very much, and bye-bye.